Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Shock Me by Kiss. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Shock Me by Kiss. This is an Ace Frehley song from the album Love Gun. And if I'm correct, I do believe this is the first song that Ace Frehley sang lead vocals on with the band. This is probably one of my favorite Kiss songs just because the riff is so cool. I'm going to break down the intro riff, which is also the chorus riff. We're going to go over the verses and we're going to go over the pre-chorus, all that good stuff. All right, I'm going to give you some soloing tips how to sound like Ace on this particular song. I've got limited time today for editing, so I'm not gonna put tablature on the screen. So this is kind of an intermediate lesson. You kind of need to know your chord shapes when I call them out, but don't worry. I'm gonna go slowly. I'm gonna zoom in on some stuff and make sure that you understand what we're doing today, okay? The most complicated part about this song is getting the rhythm of the, the intro uh, correct. It's really kind of tricky in a way. Uh, my suggestion is to listen over and over to the record so you can get the feel of it down so you can sing it. Once you can sing it in your head, you can play the riff uh, flawlessly. So we're in standard tuning. We're in A. Uh, Kiss uh, actually recorded in E flat because it was easier to sing for one, but also E flat sounds a lot better. But because of E's and most people like these lessons in standard tuning, we're tuned up to standard today. All right, so let's take a look at the intro riff. This is also the riff that you'll find throughout the chorus, okay? And the, the riff sounds like this. That's where Ace comes in and starts singing the verse. So what we're doing here is it's going to be a D and A, and then there's going to be a G. Okay, so it's basically, and then we're going to go D and a D to a G shape. It's like the rock and roll all night chord. All right, so we're going to get there. So let's take a look at the very beginning. We're going to go D, A, A, like that. What I'm doing is I'm playing just D the, on the D string, this A on the G string on the second fret, and I'm playing the D on the third string, or the third fret on the B string. So it's just basically like a power chord. You can go like that, but it just sounds so much better to go like this with the open strings. And on that A, I'm just playing the A, D, and G string. Like that, okay? So the first three riffs in that intro is all D to A. And then we're going to go pull up on this G. We're going to play the G on the third fret on the low E string. We're going to bend it up like a half step. Okay, so. Slowly. That's tricky. this and so what we're doing there is we're going to be up here on the uh, seventh fret and we're on the D G and B string that's a D major chord and we're gonna play this this is a G so this this chord here looks like this all right so our ring finger is on the ninth fret on the D string our pointer fingers on the seventh on the G and our middle finger is on the eighth fret on the B. So we're gonna hammer on. Then we're gonna go. What I did there is I went down strokes and I'm bending up on the, the third fret on the G. And then open A. And then, then an A chord. It's almost like foot loose. 
right? So that riff slowly is. playing these chords like this I'm muting the low E string with my thumb like this that way I can kind of dig into it and my pointer finger is muting the low A so this low E and A are muted and that allows me to do that really nice D to G riff Okay, so the verse is really easy. When Ace comes in, he just hits the power A. He sings the verse. So it has kind of the same motif as the intro, but not as complicated. So he holds that power A out. And then we go. And that's for the whole verse. And that's kind of cool. I, I think the reason he did that is because he can sing when he's when he's playing a chord, just open chord. It gives you a chance to sing, right? And it's it looks cool also. But you don't have to. You know, he's not busy doing like all kinds of cool riffs. All right. So then there's a pre-chorus that goes. Okay, so the, the uh, pre-chorus is... So I'm going A to B. So now, now I'm up here in this bar chord position instead of down here. So we're going to bring this A up here on the, on the fifth fret. He's sliding. So we're going to hit it and slide. Okay, I like that. And then we're going to go up to this E. Like that, up to the F sharp. So it's similar to this, where we slide up on the first one. That one's shorter. D power chord, C. Then, so the chorus goes, shock me. Shock me, A. And then there's this chord. So that second chord, you're like, what the heck is that? So what I'm doing is a D sus4 on the G and the B string, all right? So we're on the G string on the seventh, and we're on the B string on the eighth. All right, and we're gonna have this open D. And we're gonna have the open A. So it sounds like that. So really, what that is, that's like a D sus4 with an A on the bass. <clears throat> it's also a G with an A on the bass. So it's kind of like a G add too. It's a poly chord, so. He says, shock me. And then this little. To back to this intro riff once we finish the chorus. Alright, so I'm going to play the intro riff, the pre chorus, and then the chorus back to the intro riff for you all the way through so you can kind of hear the structure, okay?
At the very end of that chorus, he goes up to the E. I forgot to mention that earlier. So he goes. So he's got to come out of that that pre-chorus and that chorus to make sense to go back to the the tonic note, which is the E. The E is a five. The A is the one. all the parts right there that you need to know so hopefully that was helpful now soloing ace fraley loved to stick to the main the main pentatonic box that we all have grown to love the all right so on the fifth fret it's five eight then five seven five seven five seven five eight five um five eight now one thing Ace loved to do was do um, eight seven five on the high E, and then eight seven five on the B, and eight seven five on the G. And he loved the Chuck Berry, which is you bend up on the the G string on the seventh, and a double stop on the five on the B and the E. Or go. And that's all downstrokes. And you love to go on the eighth fret on the B string. Ace did mostly downstrokes on the solos. He wasn't a technician, but what Ace had was attitude and he had melody and he made solos that were very memorable. You don't have to have a ton of technique to be a great lead player. You have to have inflection in your playing and you got to have some form of melodic sense so that the listener can attach themselves to the solo and, and your phrasing has to be good so that the, you want to hear that solo again or that it's something you can sing or something that sticks in your head. Like Ace was really cool about that. <laughs> Albeit it gets a little tired sometimes. I mean, it's, it's, but that was his thing, right? I don't, I'm not gonna bag on Ace. He was one of my number one influences ever. But there's, um, it's easy to explain what Ace did in his solos, and it's it's very easy for people to uh, criticize when they're not that person. But it's another thing to take those shapes and be creative and do something over those songs that kiss created and it's timeless and that's why we love ace right so tricks on this solo um, ace likes to go in this pentatonic box and then he'll switch up one octave and basically do the same thing up here he does a lot of pull-offs when he's up really high i think it's easier for ace to do pull-offs than down here now don't get me wrong, he did pull-offs and stuff, but down here, when he's down low, he's usually doing like... A lot of wide vibrato. A lot of staccato picking. Because it sounds cool down low, right? And he would do... stuff like that but when he went up higher it's easier to play those types of riffs up here so what you find ace doing a lot of the times our pull up just like he did down here but he'll go what i'm doing there is i'm on the fifth uh 17th fret 
and the 18th. So I'm a pointer finger and ring finger. And I'm going to hit one note and pull off like this. I'm hammering on, hammering on the 18th fret with my ring finger. And then you can take this 18th fret and bend it up, up one step. And then you can bend the 18th fret on the high E. Like that. And then you can go 15 or 7, what is it, 17th? I'm telling you something wrong. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20th. <laughs> I'm on the 17th and 20th. It's late. So 17th and 20th on the high E and B string and the B and the G and then don't forget the Chuck Berry stuff. One of the Ace's favorite licks is the so what I'm doing there is I'm going I'm bending up one step on the G string. I'm on the 19th fret. And I'm going to play a, a 17th, fr uh, 17th fret on the high E. And I'm going to pull off 20 to 17. And then play that 17th fret on the high E. And you can also play these two notes together. Together. And then he'll go back down. Alright, so in the solo he plays the first part in A minor, which is a lot of these licks here and then an octave up. And then we it modulates. And he, he plays basically the same type of stuff, but in B minor he modulates up. Sometimes Ace will take it up one step or one pattern above this pentatonic. So if you take the same note, which is 12, 10, 12, 10, 11, 9, 7, When he goes, that solo comes out where he goes, he's got to follow the chords. He's got to break away from that B minor pentatonic to when they play the D down to C. Because after the solo, it goes right back into the chorus. So Ace had to think about, okay, I got to come out of this solo. We're doing a modulation in it, which... You know, it was kind of tricky for Ace, and then at the end of that modulation, he comes out with a C and a D, or the D and the C, and he had to kind of just play those notes in those chords and then go back into the chorus. I hope this lesson was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment below. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, have a great day. Peace out.